morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. Haven't filmed a video on this whiteboard for a while. I hope the lighting is okay. It's probably not as always, but I can't do anything about it. I tried everything whatsoever. Last time I made a sign mistake on this Laplace transform right here. The Laplace transform of a damped sine and cosine function where a and b are, well, they are real constants. And well, I want to redo that using those pens that I got from Black Pen Red Pen. Thank you so much for this. And let's go ahead and get started. As always, we are going to apply the definition of Laplace transform to this function. So what do we end up with? That's the improper integral from zero to infinity of e to the minus bt times e to i a t times e to the minus st dt. And they got the same base, so we can bring them together and we can add the exponents together. So that's the improper integral from zero to infinity of e to the, I'm going to factor out the t. So that's t times, so we got a minus s, i a minus s <laughs> minus b dt. And we know how to integrate that, that's quite easy. So when we integrate that, we end up with, so this is one over i a minus s, minus b times e to the t i a minus s minus b from zero to infinity. <laughs> Great. And well, the condition for this thing to converge. Oh no, we have to plug in limits at first. <laughs> so at first, that's the limit as t approaches infinity of one over i a minus s minus b times e to the t i a minus s minus b and well if we plug in zero this exponent will become zero so that's just a one e to the zero of power and well that's just this term right here and we have a minus because it's the second part of the integration so it's minus one over i a minus s minus b great thing okay now we have to find a condition for the convergence okay so i've done that before but it's always the same thing. We want this exponent to become negative, so it does become one over infinity, that's just zero. So in order for this whole thing to converge, our condition is that the real part of i a minus s minus b is less than zero. So that's the thing, that's how we get the negative exponent. And well, what we end up with is just this term right here and we have to distribute the minus into here and see what we get. So right now this is one over s plus b minus i times a. But that's not our final result because that's an ugly looking complex number. So we have to advance this fraction by its complex conjugate. So what do we do? We multiply by a one and the one looks as follows. This is just s plus b plus i times a over s plus b plus i times a. What do we get when we distribute everything into everything? Well, up here, this just stays the same. So that's s plus b plus a times a over. And this right here is just the norm as before, but I did that wrong for whatsoever reason. So this is s plus b, but the whole thing squared. And well, this becomes negative i squared a squared. Hmm? But um, well, I squared is just one, so that's positive um, a squared. And we can break this up a little bit into its real and imaginary part. So that's s plus b over this whole chunk. So that's s plus b, whole thing squared, plus a squared, and then plus i times a over s plus b, whole thing squared, plus a squared. And as you might notice, we can split this Laplace transform up into the Laplace transform of e to the minus bt times the cosine of a times t plus i times e to the minus bt times the sine of a t. And well, this cosine function is just the real part. So this right here is the Laplace transform of e to the minus bt cosine of a t and well this right here this expression this imaginary part 
is just the Laplace transform of um, e to the minus bt times the sine at and then we are done. I hope I did it right this time. Um, was kind of stupid of me for doing it wrong on the first try but well I'm just a human. Stuff like this happens. If you did enjoy this video at least a little bit then please like and subscribe and recommend me if you like. Support me on Patreon if you want. Link in the description and well up until the next video have a flammable day. See ya!